With all the headlines of the bombings from New York to Seaside Heights to Elizabeth, one of the things escaping the headlines, but not for us, is the fact that Monday marks the start of the Bridgegate trial of Governor Christie's former top aides. Now we've got team chaser coverage on this. Diana Blass is with Governor Christie. Alex Adan is going to give us some analysis, but I want to start with Sabeel. Sabeel, you are outside the federal courthouse in Newark as the trial got underway. What do you got? I'm chasing the Bridgegate trial, and today was day one. We heard opening arguments. Bridget Kelly is Governor Christie's former deputy chief of staff, and Bill Baroni is a former deputy executive director at the Port Authority. Kelly and Baroni are facing nine counts, including the accusation of misusing Port Authority resources to punish the mayor of Fort Lee for refusing to endorse Governor Christie for his reelection. We were showed that infamous email by Bridget Kelly, quote, time for traffic problems in Fort Lee. Kelly's attorney played down her role in the administration. He said that she had not always been Governor Christie's deputy chief of staff. He said that she was in that role for just a couple months before Bridgegate happened. And he said that she did not misuse Port Authority resources, meaning the George Washington Bridge and closing lanes on the bridge, because she simply did not have that kind of power. He said that the Port Authority is run by two governors, Governor Cuomo and Governor Christie, and Bridget Kelly was low on the totem pole. Bridget Kelly, I've been chasing her since the beginning of Bridgegate, always wears pink. Today she was wearing a black suit, black jacket, shiny black heels, and a black purse. But I did notice that there was a little bit of pink underneath the fabric inside her purse. Alex, you're at the courthouse in Newark. Help us break down what happened today. Bill, if day one of the Bridgegate trial is any indication for how the next six weeks of this case are gonna go, we're in for one hell of a ride. The story that's been on the front pages for three years still has the ability to throw some surprises our way. Like when the US government said that Governor Christie was told about the lane closures to the George Washington Bridge while they were going on at a September 11th memorial ceremony in 2013, where Bill Baroni and David Wallstein allegedly bragged to him about what they had done to get his approval. The opening statements for both the prosecution and the defense made a lot about the positions of the people who were on trial here. The defense trying to make Baroni and Kelly seem subordinate to Wildstein, while the prosecution said Wildstein couldn't do anything without Baroni's assent at the Port Authority. But I gotta tell you that Wildstein is gonna be a major part of this, and through him, Governor Chris Christie and his administration will be on trial. Wildstein actually has been likened by the governor himself, according to Baroni's lawyer, to Mr. Wolf from Pulp Fiction. You remember Harvey Keitel's character who helped clean up the car that Vince and Vega and Jules were driving when they accidentally blew the brains out of that poor hapless guy while going over a bump. And according to Michael Baldessari, Baroni's lawyer, that's exactly what Governor Christie has said in the past about Wildstein. Now, a person like that at the Port Authority, uh, Baldessari says he was there for a reason. The governor knew full well who he was sending to the Port Authority, Baldessari told the court. And by the way, the evidence is going to show that's exactly why he sent him. Now, if the defense seems to say that Wildstein was there to make trouble and that Baroni and Kelly were more on the sidelines or even afraid of Wildstein. Now, I know you know Bill Baroni. I know him too. Uh, way back to 2006 when he was in the state legislature, according to his lawyer, that was also a period of time when he was cooperating with the FBI as an undercover informant for four years between 2006 and 2010, assisting them on corruption cases and bringing them information about lobbyists in Trenton. This doesn't necessarily have a connection to this particular case, but the Baldessari brought it up to try and vouch for Baroni's character. It appears that the defense is gonna say that Wildstein was the mastermind of all of this and that Baroni and Kelly were along for the ride. But, is, but the question is, will that save them in the end? Certainly with the massive amount of evidence that the prosecution intends to introduce, including emails and texts, and Wildstein himself, who will be on the stand soon to testify for the government. Yeah, everybody gets a day in court. Okay, thanks, Alex. Today, during the town hall on the fairness formula, we all got alerts on our phone saying that the prosecutors in the Bridgegate trial say that Christy knew about the George Washington Bridge scandal. So after the town hall, I ran after the governor to get his reaction. Governor, prosecutors today allege that you knew about Bridgegate. What's your response? Better than getting yelled at, so I'll take it. <laughs>
Take what you can get with him, right? <laughs> so what did, did, did anybody else ask him about that as the alerts were going off? No. So again, this town hall was really a, a, a time for residents to ask their questions to the governor. So the press usually abides by that. But afterwards, uh, I went running after him. Nobody else was at that door when I saw him leaving. What did the residents want to talk to him about? I mean, is there a disconnect between people that have access to the governor at the town hall and the media? Because clearly everybody in the media was interested in talking about Bridgegate. Was anybody at the event, a local resident? No, no, not one question. And I, I thought that was kind of interesting. But then again, I mean, I don't know how many local citizens walk around with alerts popping up on their phone every time right. there's breaking news. I mean, I, I'm somebody who's interested in that. I know other reporters are. I know you are. But how many other people are interested in the day-to-day -day actions when it comes to a, a Bridgegate trial?